Okay, so this is going to be Kathy Hochul. Uh, she's the governor right now in New York, and she's running for uh, official office in 2022. Hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, thank you very, very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I guess it's going to be a dust up between Kathy Hochul and Letitia James. So this will be all about Kathy Hochul. I'll tell you what I wikied about her. So this is interesting. Um, Kathleen uh, Hochul, let me tell you what I found out. So in 1958, just like Letitia, Kathleen Hochul, uh, Kathleen Courtney Hochul was born uh, August 27th in Buffalo, New York. She's the second of six children and uh, her family struggled financially during her early years and for a time they lived in a trailer near the steel plant and her family is uh, Irish Catholic with roots in Cary. I guess that's another city around there. Maybe that's uh around there. Maybe that's uh, over um, Scotland. I don't know. But anyway, she's a lawyer and a politician and serving as right now the 57th governor of New York since uh, August of 2021 when, um, you know, he was gone, Cuomo. A member of the Democratic Party, and she's the first female governor of New York. Now, by the time uh, she was in college, however, her father was working for, you know, they lived in the trailer, they were having hard times, but by the time she got to college, her father was working for the information technology company that he later headed. And headed. And then she became, polit became politically active during college at Syracuse University, leading a uh, boycott of the student uh, bookstore over high prices and in an effort to rename the university stadium after an alumnus uh, running back. And she also lobbied for the university to divert, uh, divest from apartheid uh, South Africa. Good stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm holding a paper here, so that's why you don't see my hands in the screen. My, I couldn't get my tablet to send me this uh, information. Crazy stuff. But anyway, so in 1979, the student newspaper gave her an A, citing the campus changes as evidence for the grade. And uh, in 1980, she received her Bachelor of Arts degree in political science from the Maxwell School of Syracuse uh, University. Now, in 1984, she got a Juris Doctor from the, from the Catholic University Columbus School of Law and began working for a Washington, D.C. law firm, but then as legal counsel and a le legislative assistant to a U.S. representative and a U.S. senator. Uh, and then for the New York uh, State Assembly before seeking uh, elected office. Now, in 1994, the Hamburg Town Board, Hamburg, New York, uh, Town Board appointed her to a vacant seat, and then she was elected to a full term on uh, Democratic and conservative lines. That's interesting. And uh, interesting. And uh, plus re-elected in 1998, 2002, and 2006, and she resigned in 2007, and the reason being is that... Um, uh, the governor appointed her, but before that, in 2003, the Erie County Clerk appointed Hochul as deputy clerk. Then, like I said, in 2007, when she resigned uh, that previous position, the governor uh, appointed Hochul as the Erie County Clerk, and she was reelected in 2010. Now, in uh, 2010, she defeated a Republican with 80% of the vote, but following Hochul's departure, a backlog of mail was discovered by the newly elected county clerk, who later said that 792 my goodness, $792,571 in checks were found backlogged in the mail. And apparently, as county clerk, Hochul had been in the process of implementing a new system for handling real estate documents when she left after being elected to Congress. And then $9,000 had to be spent in overtime to deposit the checks and file unopened documents that had accumulated in the interim period uh, after her departure. 2011, Hochul ran in the special election to fill New York's 26th Congressional District's vacant seat, and she served as a United States Representative from 2011 to 2013. Now, in 2013, Hochul worked after that, she worked as a government relations executive for the Buffalo-based uh, M&T Bank. 
And then uh, 2014, of course, we know Andrew Cuomo selected Hochul as his running mate in the New York uh, gubernatorial election. They won the election, and Hochul was inaugurated as lieutenant governor. Governor. And then in 2018, Cuomo and Hochul were reelected. And in, but in 2021, Hochul took office as governor of New York after Cuomo resigned amid allegations of sexual harassment. So let's see what we can find out about Kathleen Hochul. So Modern Spellcasters Tarot, Melanie Marquis, with il illustrations by uh, Scott Murphy. Beautiful cards. I mean, they come in a really nice box with that magnetic uh, catch that's embedded in the inside the, uh, the box itself. And uh, the uh, guidebook is very useful. Um, it doesn't, you know, the pictures are nice. It's a full color guidebook. And um, the descriptions here, they are, in fact, very useful in, div in dividing the cards. So I have to say, even for the price of the cards, just because you got this guidebook, this is worth the price of admission right here. The cards are, you know, are very nice. They're useful. They're a familiar size of card to use. And they're quality on the back and on the front. And you're going to see that this artwork goes right to the edge of the cards. And uh, it's intuitive. They're right on the money with the Rider weight system, and um, they're just fun cards to use, and they f and they feel good. And uh, then, um, so if these, uh, if you're kind of into uh, spell casting, or even even if you're not actually, um, these cards are um, very nice to use. So that's the Spellcasters Tarot, Melanie Marquis and Scott Murphy. So Kathleen Hochul, Kathleen Hochul, you are in this race. You were two terms um, side by side with Cuomo in those elections. And um, but were you always just waiting for an opportunity? Did you see that he was going to blow this up? I kind of don't think you did. But once the opportunity uh, presented itself, just like in all the moves in your career that we found out from your little bio from Wiki, uh, you've taken advantage of, of those opportunities and made something out of all of them. And you started out in your college career really trying to get things done for uh, the right reasons. Um, and, uh, and it looks like that you continue that on to your uh, city appointments. Uh, and then right up to Lieutenant Governor. So, Lieutenant Governor, so Kathy Hochul. Kathy Hochul. Um, I don't think she could have planned this, all right? She couldn't have foresaw that this was going to uh, come out like this. And she didn't, doesn't seem to have had anything to do with it. But once that opportunity, just like every other spot, every other move up in her career, once the opportunity presented itself, she pounced. So, Kathleen Hochul. Kathleen Hochul, are your intentions, three cards, are your intentions for the good of the people? One, two, three. Kathleen Hochul, your intentions in this race for running for governor, does this have to do with the good of the people? Or does it have to do with the good of Kathy Hochul? The signifier card in this case, ah, so this is the sun card. You know, the sun brings everything out into, the, into clarity. And uh, this um, this woman here, she's taking, uh, she's spinning this yarn into something that's glorious, obviously. And uh, and that's what Kathy Hochul has done. She's taken every opportunity, every little thread of something that's come along. She's she's used it to uh, bring to build something better along the way for herself. And I, th well, let's see if if it's also been for for the people that she's represented along the way. The second card in this as to whether, you know, her intentions are pure is, um, okay, the Two of Cups, partnerships, partnerships. The Two of Cups, so this is emotional. Uh, cups are passion, compassion. You know, I'm gonna say that this, and you know, this can be uh, lovers too, but it just makes me think that this is something that's close to her heart. Okay, so compassionate, meaningful, close to your heart. It looks like this is going along those lines as a career path for you, having a, a good intention. The last card in this is a Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I think this is where we're going. Seven of Pentacles are worth value, seldom money. Um, and I think this is, you know, looking and nurturing uh, these uh, issues and uh, and saying, have I done enough? Can I bring this along further? Is this going the way I want it to go? Uh, uh, really taking care of, of her charge. Yeah, I just feel like, yeah, this has been, I think she is a public servant. I, I really do. So let's go ahead uh, with this and get into the race against uh, Letitia James, Trish James. 
So Kathy Hochul, Kathy Hochul, do you have what it takes? Um, and I think you do. I think she's a tough cookie. But Kathy Hochul, do you have what it takes to move this ahead? Do you have the cutthroat? Do you have the killer instinct to move this ahead against uh, Letitia James? They're both formidable women. Kathy Hochul, do you have what it takes to move this uh, in your favor against Letitia James. This will be a full Celtic cross with six cards in the beginning, and we'll see if we change the question for the last uh, part of four cards. But for the six uh, cards we have right now, Kathy Hochul, do you have what it takes to move this along against specifically Letitia James? Was that six? Yes, it is. Okay, Kathy Hochul, do you have what it takes to get this moved along against uh, Letitia James. Signifier card of that is, look, this Four of Cups. The Four of Cups, okay, now this is interesting because uh, Cups, like I've always tell you, are, are an emotional card. They're, they're an emotional um, uh, signifier. And uh, uh, they bring about that the compassionate intention. And typically the Four of Cups tells us that there's something that the person maybe doesn't want to take on or is a little reluctant to to bring into usually in the uh, right away system you'll see someone with three cups around them and being handed another cup out of uh, you know, out of grace a hand coming out of the sky with another cup and the person being hesitant to accept it this is a very meditative uh, person here and he's got all the cups around him so I'm gonna say that this card shows me a lot of emotional compassionate intention Okay, that's the signifier of this card with this Four of Cups. The challenge to that then is this Queen of Cups. Okay, more of that. And so the emotions just flooded down into this scene. And this Queen of Cups is very smug and very relaxed in her uh, occupation of this cup. And look, she's got it covered over. She's just, she's got her hand on the cup. And it's a little covered over. As you say, this is important. Okay, I'm not going to spill this. I know the value that's in this compassionate situation. That's the challenge to this uh, meditative uh, card that starts out as a signifier, but they're, they're both cups, they're both emotions, so it may say that her feelings run deep uh, on this subject, on this quest. The um, And you know, she remember back in her, um, her college days, she was going after all those issues that seemed to be emotionally important to her for her college. Uh, okay, the base of this reading then, ah, okay, just like the other uh, reading uh, that I had done for Letitia James, this is the, um, Two of Cups. And uh, so the Two of Cups is partnerships, again with these cups, again with this compassion, this emotion. And this is a partnership, this is a love. Okay, I like that. And then the past of this reading then is this Queen of Swords. Okay, so this Queen now is in charge of her value. This is Truth, Justice, Rules, Law. And she is Lieutenant Governor. So, hmm. Uh, well, she was lieutenant governor, now of course she's governor. So the queen uh, in the past with these, um, and just very comfortable to be in charge of that. And look at the strength that she has backing her up right here with this, this bull. So in the past of this reading, she comes into this with really being in charge, really being very comfortable, leaning on that, uh, that, uh, that truth, justice, that rules and law. Okay, comfortably ready to use it if she needs to. But not, uh, she's not in a striking position. She's in a... Uh, a protective, uh, uh, occupying kind of position. Uh, it's not the right word, but I can't think of it right now. In the sky of this reading for Kathy Hochul, okay, so the Four Pentacles, again, this is like holding on to your worth. So this person is straddling and very uncomfortably uh, to protect uh, this bounty, this value that, uh, that he uh, uh, is in possession of, okay? So this is a very um, strenuous uh, occupation right here in the sky of this. Okay, so that means someone is really coming into it with a lot of intention. I know what my worth is, I'm going to protect it, and no one's going to get a hold of this, I'm covering it up. Okay, but somebody's sneaking in who wants some of that. And then the uh, likely outcome of this whole thing with this Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, Seven of Cups, it escapes me right now, Seven of Cups. So I'm going to look it up because I just don't want to get this wrong. So the Seven I use my cheat sheet, I don't mind showing you, I'm not uh, shy. 
to say uh, creativity choices, visions, fantasy, un unrealistic illusions. Seven of Cups. Oh yeah, the Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion. Okay, what was wrong with me? That I didn't think of that. So the Seven of Cups is so many choices, so many ways that this can go. Okay, so this isn't certain all the way to this likely outcome. This is where we expect this first part to tell us, okay, this is how this is going to be. And with the Seven of Cups, we're saying, look, there's lots of choices here. There's lots of ways that this can go. And there's still, look, compassion, emotional cups. Look at that. Look at the cups in this thing. One, two, three, four cards having to do with cups. So that being the case, it's still kind of questionable. I'm going to zero in on this last part and say, Kathy Hochul, are you going to get this uh, govern this uh, governorship on your own this time? Okay. The signifier card of that is, ah, uh, this is the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is really someone who's really practiced at their art. This person has built this, this cover for uh, these... Um, for, for this uh, bounty that they have. This person has assembled all these heavy stones and, and has worked out uh, how exactly they're going to be placed and has carved them in exactly the kind of um, uh, figure that they should be and very uh, uh, adept at building this shelter for their, uh, for their value, for their worth. So that tells me uh, that that's uh, you know, a very, very strong uh, candidate for that. In the um, environment that that's in, though, for Kathy Hochul, will you pull it off? With this five of swords, wow, just like Letitia James. So this um, this abuse of power, okay, you are in a position of power. You are the governor right now. You've taken charge of everything that you have. If you banished all these other wolves trying to get into your camp, all right? So very protective, very um, aggressive. Uh, I mean, you've actually beat out all these four wolves uh, for for your for your importance of your camp right here these swords these truth justice rules of law and then the um hopes and the fears for all of this will you get it um is this queen of wands okay also now in letitia james is in this position i think she had a king of wands this queen of wands is, is has this feminine uh, compassionate in charge of the plan this woman has got this plan firmly in her grip and she's staring you down but she's not jumping up uh, she knows that she has what it takes to make this work. She's very fit, and this almost looks a little bit like Kathy Holcomb. Okay, so the hopes and the fears is that you are the queen of this plan, and the likely outcome of the whole thing, but whether you get the governorship, ah, the Three of Cups, and we come back to that compassionate, but these are compassionate celebrations, okay? So this tells me that perhaps you will, if, it, if everything moves along on the uh, compassionate, a uh, heartfelt uh, track that you seem to have led your whole career through, uh, then these celebrations look like maybe you're going to be uh, the next governor. So we'll talk about it again really quickly. I think I spent a lot of time on this already. But uh, the signifier card for this whole thing was really um, you know, contemplating the emotional value of what you have all around you. And then it's uh, uh, challenged by this Queen of Cups, which is you, Kathy uh, Hogel, uh, understanding the emotional value that's pouring down all around you, this amazing waterfall. You've got your foot in, in, this, uh, in this water even, and, uh, and you're saying, listen, this is important, and I'll let someone have a little bit of it as I see fit. So this is very strong. The base of this reading is this Two of Cups. These folks are celebrating. It's a loving situation, and uh, so that's a good base for this to be in. The past of this reading with this uh, Queen, all these, all this female energy, this Queen of Cups saying, uh, or the Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, truth, justice, rules, law, I'm in charge of this, and I have strength beside me. Okay? Um, the sky of this is really with this Four Pentacles guarding your value guarding the value that you know you're bringing to this. And then the likely outcome, though, on this first part is not definite because we come up with all these options in the seven of, again, cups. Okay? But then for the signifier, when you pull it off, we show you here as the apprentice who's really practiced their art. They build an amazing structure to protect their value. Very, you know, uh, uh, de de deftfully, is that the word? And then, but uh, uh, in the environment of, you know, this uh, this person with this uh, five of swords, swords being truth, justice, rule, law, fending off all of these wolves and protecting their camp. Very interesting uh, right here. Then uh, for the hopes and the fears, this, again, strong feminine power in charge of this plan. And then with this emotional celebration between the three uh, up here, I uh, say this kind of makes me feel like you may be the one that gets this, uh, this prize, this governorship. So that's our read today, Kathleen Hochul. I hope you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments. 
I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.